Good morning, folks. We've got an uptick in solar activity here. We'll see what we're watching for in the coming days on the sun and here at Earth. We've got an interesting study and two things on the announcement docket, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. It began calmly enough, but overnight and into this morning, things got a bit more active at the two bright active regions turning through facing the Earth, the flashes and pops you see just south of the equator from both groups. The SOHO coronagraph this morning shows two CME events, and while the first one may be from the big group on the far side, the second one is likely a full halo event from this morning's flares. I'd suggest that at very least, the second one is heading towards Earth, and the Enlil Spiral's initial updates seem to agree with impact coming on the 29th. That would be late Sunday night and into Monday for those in the West. The sunspots must continue to be monitored today as well because they have ballooned in size and magnetic complexity. If they continue to develop at this rate, X-class solar flares are not out of the question. If there are updates to the CME forecast from NOAA or more significant flares, we'll be back later today to give those details. But next, we want to quickly peek in on a very interesting story. They found that some of the earliest galaxies seem to have ages that predate the timeline of the Big Bang. This follows previous studies on individual stars like the Methuselah star in our own galaxy, which seems to be older than that as well. Now we've got entire galaxies breaking the narrative. Hopefully more details follow from that team. Folks, the end of the month special for the Observer Review will be a Q&A video. Many of you are already submitting your questions via our email, and the resulting video will be sent out to subscribers at the end of the month. Sign up for the Space Weather and Magnetic Pole Shift e-magazine today. Lastly, folks, I'm sure many of you know we're down to our last two days for the Kickstarter campaign. Our partners, the producer team from Died Suddenly, is already diving headfirst into the special effects and modeling efforts to bring you the best. Last chance to put your name on what will be a new peak in modern catastrophism science. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.